Hi, today is day six after having my simple metoidioplasty with Dr. McGinn. And I had my, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I had my, um, week, you know, week after post-surgery, um, appointment today. Um, and that went really well. Um, what happened was I went in and, um, I asked any questions that I had and they went over, um, things like cleaning and whatnot. And, um, I had my drain removed, um, which I had pulled out about like an inch and a half or so of, um, but it was a lot longer than I thought it was. <laughs> um, but, uh, and that really didn't hurt that much to like the very end I had a little sting on it but um but I was happy that that didn't hurt because <laughs> I was like it's right in the most sensitive spot on my body so <laughs> um so that was good um and uh, she also removed the um the tape that was around um my penis which also did not hurt um and then I also apparently had blood clots um, on the tip and um, so she kind of like cut those and she was really super careful about it um, you know because obviously everything is like really swollen and really sensitive right now and it's just like uh, and you have like the weird like tingly pins and needles kind of feeling um, so that hurt a little bit but it's not bad and you don't like feel the actual like clots being cut off it's just more like even just touching like, my penis right now is, like, I, I just don't do it, um, because, um, well, for many reasons, but, um, but if something touches it, like a dressing or, you know, something like that, it does not feel great. Um, I also asked about, um, the fact that I have kind of a ridge that where they took one of my lips and kind of wrapped it around, um, my penis so that it's, you know, thicker and more, you know, cylinder-like, and, um, and so there was kind of, you know, um, a bump there, like a ridge along the tissue, and so I didn't really want to be, like, ribbed for her pleasure, um, <laughs> I just wanted it to be, like, smooth, and so I wasn't sure if it was going to stay that way, or... Um, you know, if that would have to be modified or something like that. And she said that it would probably go down, like, once the swelling goes down, things should be, you know, on an even surface. And I'll still have, like, a seam there, just where the incisions were and things like that. Um, but, uh, but it should be at least smooth. And if it's not, she said that we can do something about that, um, which sounds pretty good. Uh, and then cleaning, I'm just supposed to use hydrogen peroxide on it, um, you know, um, gets dried blood off and just kind of keeps it more hygienic. Um, and then also using, like, an antibacterial ointment, uh, like bacitracin, um, or neosporin, and that's easy enough to do. Um, I can take showers again, yes. <laughs> I've missed that a lot. <laughs> so that's really good. Um, my hair definitely needs it. It's getting a little crazy. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, so there's still a lot of swelling, um, you know, in that general vicinity. Um, and still some bruising, which she said is going to kind of fade over time and spread out a little bit and turn like all sorts of shades like green and yellow and I mean that's just like any other deep bruise I guess really um so that was good to hear that that's still normal and good and all is well and the swelling will go down um <laughs> and everything um but I was too swollen to take stitches out today um it's just a bad idea Idea with it still being so swollen for several reasons. Um, so I'm actually going to have that done four weeks from now, um, which is a little bit longer, I think, than 
like it could have been done like two to three weeks later um but it actually coincided with her vacation and it's not a big deal that it's four weeks later like it's not gonna do any harm and actually in my case may be a good thing because <laughs> I tend to be a very sexual person and that I think helps encourage you to be a little bit more hands-off because it's like Frankencock right now <laughs> the stitches everywhere <laughs> um not that I'm even thinking about that right now um because it's just not no um so I don't think it'd be an issue anyway but it's just like that extra kind of motivation to not even go there um, at all. Um, so that'll be fine. And I feel a lot better about her doing it than like asking my primary doctor, which my primary doctor is great. She's fabulous. Um, she's very trans knowledgeable and runs a trans health clinic um, where I live. Um, but I you know, feel a lot better about Dr. McGinn doing it because that's, you know, she, well, A, she did it herself and she just, that's like a big, I mean, that's what she does, is that kind of stuff. Um, so that'll be fine. Um, and it's not too long of a trip. Um, so, so that's good. Um, and I work at a gay center, so they're pretty cool about me having time off for this. <laughs> Pains pretty manageable like I mean I always say it pants manageable it's better today than it had been except when I was in the car I had to drive um an hour to the office and an hour back and I think that that did not feel great and I think that, that also increased my pain a little bit um I'm not icing anymore um and they didn't mention anything about continuing to do that so I don't think it's really necessary um, but I still am supposed to be, you know, as inactive as possible. Um, so I'm trying my best to <laughs> be as inactive as possible and horizontal um, <laughs> as much as I can be. I'm actually at an angle, too, because I have pillows under my hips. Um, so I'm going to try to continue to do that. Um, and I'm returning to work on... Monday, um, so I'm gonna try, there's a couch that I can lay on and do work, or I don't know, I may postpone going to work, I'm not really sure, um, about that one yet, which I should probably call and clarify, because they told me, but I forgot, um, I think I'm supposed to be pretty much inactive for another two weeks or two weeks after surgery I don't remember Ooh. I feel like I have a lot of details to remember um and I fail um but they reassured that I can also call at any time because I'm really bad with that because I'm like I'm interrupting your life and <laughs> I don't know I feel silly calling um and I've already called twice before like on the emergency pager and I, I don't know but yes, they encourage me to call with questions, so I feel better about doing it now. Um, so that's good. Um, and I also found out that <laughs> they've seen my vlog, and I was so embarrassed um, that they <laughs> mentioned something about like me being a celebrity vlogger, but I heard flogger. So something about me being a flogger and I was like who have you been talking to because <laughs> part of my job is kink programming as well <laughs> so I thought it was related to that <laughs> at first so I was just like what <laughs> I mean okay but it was just kind of funny um <laughs> this is what happens in my mind um so yeah they were they were awesome about it though um, so that's good. So if you're watching this one, hello. Um, so that's about, um, all the new things. Um, I haven't really noticed anything, um, from having acupuncture once, by the way. Um, 
but if that changes or I feel more aware of it, I will say something. Um, I mean, that's always hard to know because, you know, I don't know what I would be like without it versus what I'm like with, so I can't really definitively say if it helped or not. If nothing else, it was very relaxing. Um, so, um, so that is about it. Thanks.